Urban Survival back with another Mountain House review. Today we got scrambled eggs with ham and peppers. One of their breakfast menus. Now they only have a few breakfast options. I think about four, maybe five. As do most, you know, most freeze dried uh, breakfasts. There's just not that many options. Now we got, it says two servings. As always, I could eat this all myself, so maybe, you know, if you got children, maybe that's enough for two kids, but not even that hungry. I could eat this all myself. Okay, so it's freeze-dried, like all Mountain House breakfasts, all, all their meals, I'm sorry. All Mountain House meals are freeze-dried. They are good for 25 years. I don't know if you can see in here. Best Buy date. 2047 so let's keep keep quite a while so they're great to keep on hand sorry guys i'm just getting over a cold <clears throat> so bear with me uh great to keep on hand you know survival situation always great to have around keeping the house i will say as with a lot of other well i guess all other mountain house meals they're loaded with salt now reason being well, one, for flavor, and two, you know, they're designed for camping, backpacking, where you're going to be exerting a lot of energy, and you want to replace your electrolytes. But if you're home, survival situation, whatever it may be, and you're eating these at home, unless you have a lot of water, you know, I wouldn't go crazy on eating these, uh, eating the mountain houses. Another thing, don't know if I ever mentioned in another video, uh... As, again, with most freeze-dried foods and even MREs, you eat a few of them, they kind of mess with your stomach. You get some GI issues. I'm not quite sure why. I imagine since it's freeze-dried, even though we dehydrate, I mean, yeah, we dehydrate. We rehydrate it. I don't think it fully rehydrates. And we eat it, and I think it gets in our intestines, and it's still, you know, semi-dehydrated, and it pulls the water from our intestines. And these things could, you know, they could plug you up. You need a few of them. So, you know, survival situation. Just try to mix in something else. Get some fiber, fruit if you could, beans even, cans of beans. Mix something else in. You don't want to just live on these things. So, all right. Let's go ahead, get it opened up. And be careful opening it. It has a little zipper. We're going to need that to re reseal it. So it has a little tear tab here. So be careful. Try to go straight across. Boom. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. We got the eggs, ham. I see peppers, red, green. Now we got the little oxygen guy. Do not eat. So, we'll go ahead and discard that. Now, they're totally safe, according to the directions. I can't remember if I ever did or not. If you forget to take that out, add the water, prepare it. You could take it out at the end. You know, if you're eating it and you find it in the pack, just don't eat it. Food's still totally safe. Now, this calls for one cup of water. Now, I put a little less. With most of the meals, I actually put a little less. I found this tends to come out watery. So, got a tiny bit less than a cup. Let's go ahead and uh, add our water. Boiling water. All right. So, we got that in. Now, let's give it a good stir. You want to get all the way down the bottom. Yeah, make sure the water... Gets in there, get in the corners. Give it a good mix. <clears throat> and it says to let it sit for about five to six minutes. So let's go ahead, close that up. And we're gonna go ahead and wait five or six minutes. 
Now what I like to do about halfway through, just in case, open them up, go in, re-stir it, just mix it up about halfway through. So we're at about two and a half minutes by the time I stir it here. Close it back up about three minutes. And then we'll go ahead and let it sit for another three minutes. Still nice and hot, nice and steamy in there. So let's go ahead, let it wait another three minutes. All right, so wait an additional three minutes. We're now at about six minutes. So should be done. I don't know if you see that. Still steamy hot. All right, let's get this out. Let's get it on a plate here. This so way you guys can maybe see it a little better. A lot of ham, look at all that ham. A lot of ham, green and red bell peppers. Huh. All right. I mean, it's typical, you know, freeze dried eggs, which to be honest, I am not a fan of freeze dried or powdered eggs, but well, let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm. It's not horrible. It's not bad. As I said, I'm not a fan of uh, freeze-dried eggs, so... Eggs don't have much flavor on their own. Ham, definitely you can taste the ham. Nice smoky, uh, smoky flavor of the ham. Red and green bell peppers. Bring a lot of flavor to it. But if you just grab a little piece of egg. A little salty. That's about it. So. But hey. You know, as a comfort food. And for kids. Everybody loves scrambled eggs. This isn't bad. So I'll give it about a 6. Out of 10. Just for the simple fact. That's me though, guys. You know, maybe you guys love uh, freeze-dried eggs. I don't. So for that, I'll give it about a 6 out of 10. Not horrible. It's nice comfort food and, you know, whatever. Even if you're backpacking, whatever. Not many breakfast uh, choices, so. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish some of this up here. Um, I'll be back with another video soon. As always, thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. I have a lot of exciting things coming up. I'm going to start doing MRE reviews and also gold pater reviews. That should be fun. Then, of course, continue on with the EDC, bug out bags, get home bags, knife reviews, food storage, silver coins. Comment some ideas you guys might have that you want to see down below. That's it for today. See you in the next video.